Welcome back to another video, and this time we're going to be looking at Voivod with their latest album, Synchro Anarchy. Synchro Anarchy. This is the band's 15th studio album, and their follow-up to 2018's The Wake, which was a fantastic album. In fact, that album was the band, the band, that was the album that actually introduced me to the band. I'm embarrassed to say, for the fact that I've been a metalhead for over 30 years, or just as 30 years, I'm not that old. As somebody who's been listening to metal for a very long time, pretty much most of my life, I'm kind of embarrassed to say that Voivod is one of those bands I've just never bothered checking out until recently. I mean, they're a name that I've constantly heard and I've always heard good things about them, but it's only recently that I've uh, checked them out. I recently bought a ton of their earlier albums. I've really been enjoying getting through the discography of the band and yeah, this is just one of those albums I had to review. I was so looking forward to this one. Now this album features the same lineup as the lake, uh, the lake, the wake. We have Michael Langevin on drums, also known as Away. Dennis Ballinger on vocals, also known as Snake. Daniel Mongrain on guitar, also known as Chewy. And Dominique Laroche on bass, also known as Rocky. And like its predecessor, The Wake, this album was produced by Voivod and, who is it, Francis Perron, who also, uh, yeah, who also recorded and mixed it. Now I'm looking at the, I'm looking at the tablet. And this album was also released on Century Media. Actually, was it The Wake? Yes, The Wake. The Wake was released on Century Media as well, so a little known fact for you there. <sighs> Before I start getting into the songs, I just wanted to briefly mention the artwork as well, or should I say, the fantastic artwork. Once again done by Michael Langevin, also known as Away. I just love the artwork of all their albums, the fact that I think he's pretty much done, if not all of them, he's certainly done the majority of the artwork for the albums, and it just adds a real consistency. Voivod are a band I really have been enjoying, and yeah, they've got a sound all of their own. Anyway, we're going to get into that. Well, now. So, kicking off with Paranormalium, and I've actually already done, I did actually do a reaction video for that, so if you do want to go and check that out, by all means do, I'll le leave a link in the description. These huge power chords set things off with this sort of primus, like discordant jazzy chords, and before going into this scratchy palm riff, palm muted riff, I mean. First thing that I noticed when I was listening through this track, I don't know if Mastodon are fans of this band, I've not really heard them mention them, they've, you know, they're a band that have always worn their influences on their sleeves but I noticed how much how many similarities there were between Mastodon and uh, The Wake The Wake Voivod it was really quite interesting here that so I wonder how much influence Voivod have had on Mastodon because that was something that stood out to me on this track and quite a few of the tracks actually one thing that really stood out to me on this track and throughout the entirety of the album the production of this album just works so well. The band did uh, a lot of the production themselves as well. They seem to really truly understand where each musician stands in the, you know, in the, in the mix, so to speak. They kind of reminded me of the Minutemen in that way. Mike Watt, the bass player, and Dee Boone, the guitarist and vocalist, they very much stuck to the registers of their own instruments to really, to really put their stamp on it. So Mike Watt on the bass, he took all the bass frequencies obviously sounds obvious but it's not so obvious whereas d boone went completely towards the treble and you know some mids in there as well so that really stood stood out i wonder how much the band do that as well because the one thing that i did really notice the bass tone on this album is my god it's sick it's so glorious but each instrument really there's a real separation with the uh, the instruments in this album that's really just joyous to the ear the guitars and the bass, everything just, you can hear everything so plainly. You can hear what each musician is doing and they all just sit so well together. The guitar frequencies are kind of, they're, they're, it's such a unique guitar tone that he's got. And it really just, anyway, yeah, I think you know what I'm saying. The production on this just sounds great. This is really, really pleasing to the ear. Next up, we have the title track itself, Synchro Anarchy, of course. And as I mentioned earlier on, the bass tone, Rocky really shines through on this one. His bass absolutely sounds amazing. Jagged, angular riffs really make up a huge portion of this song, as does the entirety of the album. It really keeps you guessing. You kind of never really know where the song's going to go. Even though it's always uniquely Voivod, there's still this sort of feeling that it could just go anywhere. Sometimes it does. Well, quite often it does. I really enjoyed the bridge section. It had this really nice uh, spaced out feel to it. Again, with what I was saying about the separation of the instruments, one thing I've really found with this band in general, not just this album, just as you're ad admiring one musician, 
you start noticing what somebody else is doing. So maybe there's a guitar riff that you're really like, oh man, that sounds great. And then suddenly you become aware of this, what's going on on the drums and you get torn over there and then the bass riff kicks in and then what Snake's doing on the vocals, it's just, it's, oh man, I love it. I think you know where I'm going with this. Next up we have Planet Eaters and I really enjoyed what Chewie was doing with the riffs on this one. As I said, this is another one that I did a reaction video for. Well, it's the same reaction video. So if you want to check that out, by all means do. This one goes between heavy thrash and progressive jazz and it really sounds like they're having fun it just they sound like a band they just enjoy what they do there was this really cool bridge section with this stop start staccato kind of riffage going on with the bass just landing in a bang bang really you know i'm not sure that's the actual riff by the way it just lands in all the right spots is so good yeah again I, the bass tone is just glorious i love it next up we have a mind clock this one starts out really clean but dark and menacing and away really controls the vibe of this one behind the kit with what he's doing with the drums it's just really you know i mean well of course he'd be doing drums behind the kit that's what it is just slowly increases the intensity of what he's doing it just it's, it's so good how he you know it's all coming from him this leads into a really awesome thrash section and we get snake repeating the line change my mind over and over again then we get into a more progressive section to see us out which is just another banger just you know there's not a bad song on this album spoiler warning next we have sleeves off and this had a more traditional catchy chorus which says a lot for the band because for anyone else this would still be kind of you know crazy left field man for what they do it actually sounded a little more traditional and uh, yeah i just love it there were great guitar and bass solos in this song which were just a joy to behold and snake uh, what he does on the chorus in this is just awesome i don't want it i don't need this i don't like this now next up we have holographic thinking and a nice great chuggy palm muted riff sets things off on this one one thing i love about the band is frantic and as all over the place as uh, a lot of these songs get they're all uniquely voivod i think once you've listened to a few albums of theirs you kind of really start to understand the band a lot more so even though a lot of things you know it, it can go off in all kinds of directions it still has this unique Voivod feel to it, if that makes any sense. So even though you're not necessarily expecting it in a weird way, you are. Um, but it, it, it always makes sense and it's always joyous. Next up, we have The World Today and bass and drums really set this one rolling. We get a ton of complex time signatures and changes throughout this song. It really is so cool what they can do in a four minute song. They, they can do more in that than most people can do in, a, in an entire album. We then go into the penultimate track, Quest for Nothing. Fast alternate pick guitar lines set the tones on this one. We get some particularly powerful drumming throughout. I just truly love this band the more and more I listen to them. And finally we get Memory Failure, a nice heavy solid tune to see us out. And I think uh, it's pretty obvious I'm going to give this one a high score. This was a 9 out of 10 for me. This is an absolutely fantastic album. I've said this quite a lot recently because last year we had, you know, the likes of Carcass and Cannibal Corpse releasing absolutely stellar albums. And it's always great to see bands who have been going for a long time. The people who inspired so many younger bands to pick up instruments. It's so great to see them still doing relevant music you know what i mean this isn't just good mu this isn't just a good voivod album this is a good album in general this is a, this is you know it's not just relevant it's essential listening this album is absolutely fantastic do yourself a favor and check this one out if you haven't checked out voivod before this is a great place to start i really am so happy that i started listening to them they're just you know you know when you put the headphones on and you just go into a different world when you're listening to music that's what this band gives me so fun so creative so inventive they, and they sound like they're having fun as well i think that's um, that's something that really stands out and something that really makes it that much more enjoyable i've made my point it's a great album you should check it out yeah okay so that's another review done for this weekend of incredible albums that we've uh, had coming out by this point if things have gone to plan then you'll have seen my review for once human with scar weaver i'll have put out my napalm death mini album review as well uh, they put out a new one and i still have zeal and Arda. and i might do a video where i'm kind of summing up some of the other uh, albums that we've had so we've also had cult of luna we've got author and punisher and we've got the new album by slash whether I'll be doing individual videos for those or doing them all in one video, I'm not sure at this point. But I will be getting to those. I will be letting you know my thoughts on them. 
And uh, yeah, we've got, uh, well, there's plenty more to do. I've said enough as it is. If you did get this far in a video, thanks very much for watching. If you could drop a like, it really does help out the channel. And as I said in the last video, I will be getting back to the hills at some time soon. We really are coming to the end of winter and it's, oh, I'm so, I'm so happy. We'll get some lighter evenings and I'll be able to get out there. I've said too much already. I'll catch you later.